I edited this like a year ago. Oops. Uh, and if you want to know our personalities, despite the fact there's only two of us here, uh, just discern them from these emojis. So yeah. <laughs> of course. Who would you want on? Uh, Adam Sandler. <laughs> Is he a Twitch streamer? <laughs> you fucking better be. <laughs> what about Weird Al? What about Weird Al? Like, what if we got him? That'd be cool. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Uh, what if, like, he played us, like, a song? I would, um, I would ask him to find, like, the most compressed mic in his house and then play the song. Okay. No, like, what if he, like, he plays it and, like, he's like, okay, I got the song for you guys. Can't wait for you, can't wait for you guys to play it during, like, your next stream. You open it up and, like, he's playing the song, but, like, in the background, you can just hear, like, really loud, like, construction work going on. <laughs> Give me, you know what? Give me, like, give me, give me some of the ponder about. Okay. Um, if 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 water has uh, hydrogen and oxygen in it, why is it hard to breathe in? Hang on. <laughs> Let's give her a minute, folks. <laughs> <That's> stupid. <laughs> Fucking water is gonna come gushing down your throat. What do you mean? I'm sorry to like derail the conversation, but I was looking through like Twitter mm -hmm. and I saw like, how will our universe end? And then w the very last like concept is just death bubbles. Death bubbles? Wait, what? Death bubbles? <laughs> so you know how there's like the big chill, the big like crunch, you're ramping shit out like that? Oh, yeah. What the fuck is death bubbles? Hang on, I'm looking. What is the death, <laughs> death bubbles? De the details of this death by bubble are pretty complicated. Dude, how'd you die a death by bubble? Bro, you die by death bubble. Death so by basically brain. the idea is the universe dropped into like a lower energy state. When this happens, it just sets off a bunch of like giant light speed bubbles. Oh shit. Wow. Yo mama. <laughs> I'm, so I'm, I'm sorry. The idea of death by giant light bubble is so funny. It it also kind of sounds a little cool. Just like, like compared to like, oh no, we're getting spaghettied into a big hole. This one's just like fucking hypersonic bubbles will consume the universe. Run. <laughs> 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 I, I like thinking about space, but also I don't because it just makes me like sad and also just like, what the fuck? Oh, space horrifies me. Oh yeah, space is very scary. I saw like oh. a thing trending t earlier today about like a super big black hole that apparently uh, defies our current understanding of the laws of physics <laughs> and like... <laughs> terrifying it's horrifying it's it's apparently like bigger than several thousand suns light years away like so far away that like we can't even perceive it in any reasonable fashion but like mm -hmm. we know it exists it's, it's horrible i know it's horrible and i don't like thinking about these things that's why i'm making my comic all about these things because they that's scare me great Dude, fuck, like, Lovecraftian horror. Talk about the like, good super giant black hole. Anything in real life will be scarier than an actual, like, horror novel or movie. Fuck you, fuck you, HP Lovecraft and your stupid and monsters. Have you seen fucking black hole? water? Have you <laughs> seen Death Bubble? Have you looked up at the <laughs> fucking moon? <laughs> Death bubble. I he fucking I wishes he could write a death bubble. Of like, when the universe ends, but just death bubble. Death bubble. I want to see a funny little alien. I, wa I want to see the giant fucking spaghetti monsters that kind of roam around Venus. Come on. I want to see the little, like, like um, plankton-looking fellows. Yeah. I want to bust open the ice on Jupiter and look at the funny fish. The funny space fish. Oh, Foster, that is a funny fish. <laughs> hey, Pillar, you want to hear about death bubbles that could enter the universe? You, you sound hear like about a. What now? <laughs> you... Pillar, Pillar, are you out in fucking a space station? Where Pillar... are you? <laughs> Pillar are you is calling us from the ISS? Yes. I'm driving. <laughs> You're driving through the ISS? <laughs> yeah, I got a car in space. I no! They should have never put a Tesla in space. Fuck. They, yeah, I got in. I got in a 
was a space Tesla, now I'm fucking drifting around the ISS and they can't stop me! <laughs> Shit, I just hit someone, oh no! <laughs> I hit one- I hit- I hit one of the funny astronauts! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Alright, I- 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 I think they're about to open an airlock to try to get me out. <laughs> and, uh, they, shit, okay, they slammed open the airlock. Are we starting a band <laughs> called Lightspeed Death Bubble? Oh hell yeah! I'm in the ISS and no one can stop me. <laughs> Now remember, Pillar, uh, if you are in times of distress, your Tesla can play Cuphead. So you can make it even worse. You're right, I can play Cuphead in space in my Tesla. <laughs> wait, wait, shit, hold- Is that- There's a guy just floating here. <laughs> He's just floating in space? He's got, like, wings and shit? Imagine- Oh what? my god. Imagine this is how, like, Event Horizon went. <laughs> It'd be a good movie. It'd be a good movie then. Hey, I'm pretty sure there's laws against space tailgating. <laughs> Pillar, I just want to say you were okay. So you were like running from Elon Musk, right? I was running from Elon Musk. Yeah. Or no, I, I wasn't running from. I was running after Elon Musk. I was chasing. Him. <laughs> how's your How's your current space journey going right now? It's about to come to an end. I'm, I, oh, I you're rocketing for Earth right now. I didn't, I didn't say anything because I didn't want to worry you all, but I, I broke through the atmosphere a while ago, and I think I'm going to crash in the Pacific any second now. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, sorry, what's everyone. that outside? Oh Jesus, what the fuck? Yeah. Guys, guys, I think it- I think his car- the car is barely toward my house right now. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> oh god, oh Jesus, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, oh god! Goodbye, everyone. It's been nice knowing you all. That was kind of cringe. <laughs> He's fucking dead! <laughs> Two thousand years later. They finally dragged me out of the Pacific. Oh my god. Been stuck here for weeks. <laughs> Have you gained gills yet? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Breathing on land is is, is terrible. I don't hey, like hey, air Pillar, anymore. Pillar, Pillar, <laughs> Pillar, come over here. Pillar, come over here. I don't trust you're gonna slap the gills. <laughs> How did you guess what I was gonna do? <laughs> I know you. The Mr. Twitch himself will come into our stream and then cho start choking us one by one. Jeff Bezos? <laughs> Jeff Bezos just kills us all instantaneously. Wait, does Jeff Bezos <laughs> own Twitch? Uh, well, uh, uh, Amazon owns Twitch. That's fucked up! Well, yeah, yeah! Maybe the real Frankenstein's monster the friends we made along the way. Oh my god. Was Okay. Yeah, so, everybody look, so everyone look at me, everyone look at me, everyone look at me, everyone look at me. What? Bitch. Like, like, fa like, like, metaphorically look at me. Mm-hmm. No. Would you fuck the Frankenstein's monster? No. 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 I mean, it, it, it's a corpse. I feel Yeah, like... that's weird. I know you would brick. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird, Cam. Wait, you want to fuck a zombie? What are you talking about? We, we're not gonna talk about it. I don't know about it. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Being exposed on live television? Listen, they don't know about that. They don't know about that. And no, no, no. Don't, don't turn away. Don't, don't, don't look in. Turn the cameras away, guys. Hey, hey, we look at the screen real quick. Ooh, Tug's collar. <laughs> look. I love Beetlejuice. <laughs> no, Beyondu is not Beyondu. So, yeah. I have a hypothetical now. Okay, what's uh, your hypothetical? All, all of you, please look at the screen real quick. Okay, okay. I'm That's looking. <laughs> Would you eat at <laughs> Frankenstein Burger King? Frankenstein Burger King? Isn't that a SCP? Yes. <laughs> please, please show. Yes, thank you. They actually have Frankenstein Absolutely. Burger King. This is a real wow. location. This is a real location. Would I eat there? Would you eat at the Frankenstein Burger King? <sighs> I don't know. I, I, I mean, the burgers are no really choice. good. I have no choice but to eat at the Frankenstein Burger King. You the simply burgers, I don't know. must eat at the Frankenstein Burger King. The Frankenstein Burgers aren't Were I to not epic. eat at the Frankenstein Burger King? They're not that epic. Hey, 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 you you stop that. You calm down. <laughs> Would you want to go down? You want to throw? Yeah, you I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Talk. Talk. Oh, uh, this is the Frankenstein Burger? Welcome to Frankenstein Burger King. Can I get you the just... Frankenstein Burger? I forget which menu item from Burger King this is, but 
the big thing is once you take a bite of it, um, everybody in the uh, general facility will start speaking like they're in Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. That's <laughs> and, incredible. That's and, incredible. And reenact Jesus. the That's plot awesome. of Frankenstein, but the burger is Frankenstein. That's fucking awesome. Right? So would you like to hear an excerpt from Frankenstein Burger King? Yes. Yes, please. Yes. <clears throat> What foul countenance! Behold! Set your eyes upon this wretched abnormal <laughs> abnormality! <laughs> Whose visage will torment me till my reunification with my father? Behold and remain wary! He's talking about a fucking burger. Um, <laughs> Just picture a burger throughout this entire time. Haunting such burger, unnatural hue! Oh, to be labored with a fiendish existence such as this, composed from both slaughterhouse and the learning room, an abhorrent creation. This is what I would say about a Burger King burger. <laughs> Frankenstein Burger King foot lettuce. Number 15, Frankenstein, Frankenstein foot lettuce. <laughs> yeah, Tracy's pretty good. Frankenstein put his big feet all over your burger. Shut like, like, it's got moxie. <laughs> got moxie. moxie. It's got moxie. Come on, kid. You got moxie. I got two words for you, kid. I am homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> These three words are non-negotiable. Fat himbo tit. Listen here, boss man. These words are non-negotiable. Super, Super monkey, monkey ball. ball. Tracy, can you do me a favor? Yeah. In the Coomer voice, can you say, Gordon, I'm sexual? Gordon, I'm sexual. <laughs> Big himbo titties. Big himbo titties. Big himbo titties. It's too late, Spider-Man. Weed has already been legalized. <laughs> Spider-Man, hero or menace? <laughs> I want to look at the hero lines that we wrote before himbo. the stream. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Please read them out loud. <laughs> it was so funny. I want this on the front page of the Daily Bugle. Wolverine, home wrecking whore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm racking my brain. I'm racking my brain. I'm trying to think of some. Um, I'm trying to think of like good, clever ones. Uh, and never mind. Uh, does Doctor Strange is gay? The rumor come out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, should we do a dramatic reading of this? Yes. This party's cool, but I wish there was a way to find the geeks and gamers in the crowd. This cake is great. It's so delicious and moist. The cake is a lot. Why is Duncan from Total Drama Island here? He's just oh my there. God, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Looks like he's a Fallout fan. Bro. Also, who cares about Duncan? He's transphobic. He's yeah, that's canon. That's canon? That sucks. Th there's an actual fucking clip of him being transphobic. <laughs> Seeing? Good. Seeing Chef as a transgender troll? Priceless. Death to Duncan. Yeah, death to Duncan. Duncan. All my homies hate Duncan. You can't be punk if you're transphobic. I'm putting that on record. It's true. Alright, campers. <laughs> Looks like you're being sentenced directly to hell. You're being sent <laughs> down to Hasbin Hotel. Oh no! my god. No! no! <laughs> That's a true punishment. <laughs> going, you're going down to the racist hell. So you know what this picture right now that's on screen reminds me of? What? This? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 it reminds me because like he's overlaid onto the sketch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look in the chat. Look in the chat. Yeah. Yes. Let me get that on screen. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Duncan. <laughs> to Duncan. Fuck Duncan. Smug piece of shit. I hate him. I hate him so hate that guy. His, like, the shape of his face looks like, like, it could possibly be, like, the shape of, like, a state. <laughs> it does! You, you know what? You're not wrong. That, that's the true is Duncanville. That where Dunk, is that where Duncanville is located? Yes! <laughs> I'm glad we had the same brain cell on that. Uh, I'm known to borrow other people's brain cells for a while. Gay and trans ally? Mamma Mia. Papa Be Pia. still my gamer heart. <laughs> I'm not speaking to you anymore. <laughs> no, no, Pillar, come on, come on. That was that was kind of cool. You know what they say in the Donkey Kong song from Donkey Kong Country, the show. Lizzie says yes, yes, yes. 
It means no, no, no. When he says yes, 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 it means no, no, no. Absolutely. I looked up the top 10 Donkey Kong Country songs. <laughs> it's old friends together again. Do I know and the something? description for this goes, Is this nostalgic tune memorable for the way it pays tribute to the shared memories of youth or fleshes out the backstory to Cranky and King Rule? No. <laughs> It's memorable because of all the more erotic undertones. What? Just look at the way they <laughs> stare at each other with lustful eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's made clearer than ever that despite his harsh veneer, Cranky just wants to straddle a crocodile. Oh my God. The musical number takes the typically camp portrayal of the very villainous King K. Rule and crankies it up to 11. The original friend's title of this episode translates in as Intimate Enemies. Tragedy strikes and these lovers are destined to return to their eternal conflict. This friendship may be wrong, but it's oh so right. Babe, can we change our icons to these? <laughs> I remember anything. Do you think I think? <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. <laughs>